we're going to add one more view to this. So we've got our front, top, side isometric. We're going to add what's called a section view. And a section view is where you cut the part or a part in half. So we want to take a section view of this part here. So I click on my section view and then I'm going to hover over the middle of the line and I'm going to extend straight up and you'll see I get this little dotted line. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drag my mouse straight down and then I'm going to drag my mouse straight over and I'm going to right click and hit continue. And then when I slide I can see that I'm going to get a cut view of this object. So I'm going to slide it to the left here or to the right and I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit OK to enter. What this view has done is I've cut the cube right down this line and you can see these little angled lines. These are called crosshatch lines and they're showing you what's actually been cut away as part of this view. So I'm just showing you the inside of the um, part here. Okay. In terms of blueprints for 3D printing, we need to know the overall dimensions uh, of height, length, width, thickness. We need to know some of the specific dimensions around the holes. Uh, I would also want to add a dimension for the fillet on here. So I'm going to grab my annotate tab dimension and I'm going to grab right somewhere on the edge of that fillet and I'm going to put a radius of two and I'm going to open this up and because this is typical, I'm going to put TYP for typical which means the radius uh, is typical all the way around the part. Everywhere where there's a, a fillet, the radius is two. So there's a basic set of blueprints. Now what I need to do for each of the blueprints that you're going to create in this class for 3D printing, we need to know the approximate volume or the volume and the approximate cost to print that part. And so to do that, we need to go find out how big is this part, how much volume of material does this part actually have. So I'm going to click on this, the icon here and go into the properties tab and oopsies sorry I'm going to switch back to my part. So I need to go actually back to the part so I'm looking at the actual part and from here I'm going to go into the properties tab and you'll see over here that there is a tab that says physical and when I click on that tab, I've got mass, area, volume, but they say NA. So to simply check that, I hit update. And what this tells me, the one that I'm interested in right now is this one right here. So what this tells me is I've got 56,650.648 cubic millimeters of material in this part. We're going to round things to the nearest zero. So really I've got 56,650 cubic millimeters. So I'm going to write that down and I'm just going to close this. I'm going to go back into my blueprint. So now to create uh, a text box, a place where I can just put general notes, I'm just going to click on the A and I'm going to click where I want that text box to start and this window is going to pop up. So I want to start to look at printing costs, right? So um, call this printing costs calculation and I'm going to go down a line and I'm going to say okay the volume of the part right now is equal to and we said 56,650 650 I'm going to use that millimeters okay so cubic millimeters of materials okay now the cost material cost is five dollars let's see sorry five dollars per 15,000 cubic millimeters. Okay. So what I need to do to figure this out is I need to take 56,000 divided by 15,000 and multiply that by 5. 
And so the way that's going to work is printing costs would be, if I take my calculator and I say, so in my calculator, I'm going to take the volume of material, 56,650 millimeters divided by 15,000. I get 3.776 whatever. So then I'm going to times that by $5 and I get $18.83. So the approximate printing cost of this part right now would be $18.88. And I hit OK. So as it stands, this part would cost me that much money to print. Okay, I'm just going to update this cost. Now because this, we're looking at the cost of printing, well that's a pretty expensive cube. So is there a way for me to make this cube a lot cheaper without changing the sh shape of the cube, the size of the cube? And the answer is yes if we make the cube hollow. So what we're going to go back to is we're going to go back to our standard part here. And right now we've got this solid cube of plastic with some holes missing. But really inside that we could actually shell this out. So we're going to use the shell feature. So I want you to do that. And what it's giving us here is that the walls we're going to shell at one point or one millimeter thick. And so you can sort of see that the cube is sort of hollowed out on the inside. And if we shell that out, um, and all we do is we hit shell and we hit OK. If we click on one of these surfaces, it can remove a surface, but we don't want to do that. So we're just going to click OK. And so now what we should have is a shell here, and we can see that this is now a hollow part. Well, let's update the information about the volume. So we're going to go into properties, back into physical, and hit update. And now you'll notice we've gone down from 56,000 to 15,651 cubic millimeters. And so if we close that and we go back to our blueprint and we zoom in on here, double click to update this. First of all this has to be changed. This should be, this is shift 6 mm and this should be Shift, oh, mm, ah, cancel. This should be mm3, and this should be mm3. Okay, so now let's update this. So we've gone from 56,000 down to 15,651. I want you to recalculate the cost of this on your own and update your blueprint with the new cost to print for this cube if it was shelled at one millimeter. So I'm going to click OK. So right now this part isn't right. You're going to update that and show me those blueprints when you're finished. And that is the first introductory video for blueprinting.